right, man. I'm not going to hold you. We're going to get into a build video, low-key. We got your boy Fitz. Your boy Fitz is reviewing builds. He got an a hour and a half video reviewing these builds right here. Your boy Fitz. I'm going to put the link in the description so y'all can see that. Y'all can go ahead and uh, get with him. But in this video, I'm just trying to see what he thinks about, about Trey Soul's build. I'm down to Shut down. Got the head. So, I mean, that's that's one of my guys. That's, a, you know, one of my streamers. I be in his track, you know what I'm saying? With the little, you know, $2 donos, trying to get a little chuckle. See, we see if I can make bro laugh once or twice a stream. You know what I mean? But, you know, he be egoing us and all that. So, I'm going to go ahead and just say for the, for the sake of saying it, Trey is remedial when it comes to building bills. And I say that with the utmost disrespect, the utmost. But either way, we're not going to put too much stock into, you know, what he built. Because he not the guy that you finna, you finna be like, oh yeah, he built the best build in the world. That's just not him. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, respectfully, honestly, to be honest, all jokes aside, I mean, that's just the truth. I mean, if we go, if we looking for somebody off this list right here that is building the best builds, I'm gonna look for, I'm gonna look for Joe Knows. Joe Knows is at the top. You could look for Double H to make a good build. Laker fan, the top three right there really all of these guys can make a, a comp build. Truly Honcho make good builds. Chico Filo is not finna, you know what I mean, be a slouch. Okay, but on this list, everybody on this list is Joe Knows, Laker fan, Double H, Iggy Mo, Kang Dooms, Wavy JC, Truly Honcho, Chico Filo, Spider. Trey is on this. I don't know how Trey made it to this build video, but I guess maybe his build is actually super loped out. So who knows? Grinding is on this list. Brother Jones, Swaggy, X Godly, Joey, and Juice Man. So, okay, this video, he has it time stamped out, time stamps on everybody's build. So, I mean, if y'all want to go see who made the build of the all the builds, got the number one spot, you know what I mean? We can, you can go see that. You can go look for yourself and see what's going on. So, I mean, honestly, I'm about to just jump right into this video and see what he has to say about the homie's build. We actually have a new number two. So that's our top three. We got Spider one, Chico two, and then Wavy three for now. We might go look at them three bills too. He says Spider One, Chico Filo Two, and Wavy Three. That's his top three so far. He's only 25 minutes into the video. All right, in here we got Trey. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really. First thing first, I'm seeing off top. He has a lot of scoring in this build. This is a three level score. This had to come out to a three level score. It had to. Um, maybe it, I mean the the ball handling is okay. You can move with that if you know how to move and groove. I don't know what kind of what kind of caps you okay. So to get to get the highest ball handling moves, if you want Trey Young escape, you need what a 92, 92 ball handle. I think that 80, I think that 80 speed with ball is enough threshold to get that. Um, I mean, the only thing that's outrageous, you need 99 to get to Steve Francis, but he can he can't, he's not gonna be able to get to Trey Young escape move but you don't need that to be great he does have a bunch of ball handling it i mean a bunch of uh, scoring in here 95 dunk 96 mid-range 94 three he's gonna be he's gonna be able to slash for somebody he's gonna be he's gonna be able to shoot easy with this build i mean me personally thinking if i had this build i'm shooting off ball easy with this um six four though i probably would have went six six and settled for a little less three ball i think that'll take your three ball down some um I, I don't know. And I might have went with a little more defense with that uh with that loss of, of three point shot attribute. Um I mean expect to see nothing good. It was solid. It was solid. Now, um looking back, I didn't even realize what he did on this build to make himself have all this stuff he had, but let's go over it. He has a ninety five dunk. Now why the right. hell he has a ninety five dunk with a cause he wanna go down to the paint and bang on someone's face. That might be what you need to get uh, the elite contact dunks. I think 95 should get you, maybe 99 gets you elite contacts. I know 95 should get you uh, contacts though, regular contact dunks. And I don't know if they got to be little small man contacts with being 6'4", but I know he got contact dunks. He wanted to get some contact dunks, put that body yada yada on somebody and, uh, and body somebody. That's what he was thinking. I can guarantee you that. 75 vertical combination. I have no... I think you might need a little more I vert, huh? To tell you. Now, with that being said, um, the 95 with the 96 mid-range and the 94 three ball is comp. 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 But 
I didn't realize that he took such a hit on speed with ball and ball handle while right. having 86 speed. I'm going to be honest. That's going to be the noob mistake a lot of people make. And 86 I'm not speed even with, low, with 86 ball honest, handle is going to be it? Go well, I don't understand what you mean with that. I haven't. Maybe he's done more research than me. So let's let him cook. Ball handle while having 86 speed. I'm going to be honest. That's going to be the noob mistake a lot of people make. And I'm not okay. even trying to diss nobody. I'm just being honest. And no, I diss this man. Going to the game, making mistakes that they shouldn't make. No, at, by all means, boo this man. He deserves a boo. When it's money on the line, like that first build is going to be so important, bro. It is. And yeah, that. I kind of disagree. I mean, I kind of disagree. That first build, I mean, you can make some mistakes on that first build. The second build is usually the one where you need to get it right. You figure out what you did wrong on your first build and let me let me uh let me correct it. You know, that first build is usually like, OK, I'm bound to make a few mistakes trying to see what the gameplay is like. I'm bound to make some mistakes on this first build just to see what I need in order to be dominant for myself behind the sticks. So, I mean, because everybody different. That speed is not going to be. I'm telling y'all that speed with ball. Then it's going to be agility. Then it's going to be speed. I'm telling you, that's going to be the order. That's going to be the order. I'm telling you. Speed with ball, then agility, then speed. I'm telling you, now speed is important. It's just not as important as speed with ball and agility. In my opinion. I mean, if you want to be a ball handler like that, if you want to, this looks like an off ball build, bro. But um, it's a lot of stuff he did that just wasn't smart. Like this, the driving dunk, 95 with a 75 vertical, like... You're missing out on a lot of stuff you could have did with that come like with a better combination. Maybe you go like 93, True. but get your vertical to 80, and then you can be able to do other things on your build. I don't know. Maybe you lower your speed so you can get some ball handle speed of ball. I don't know. But yeah, um, I do like the combination he has, mid-range three ball and dunk. It's just he didn't optimize it the best way. All right here. I, I can I mean I feel that. Again. I feel that. I feel that. Okay, so. With that said, I mean, I probably would have went with a little less weight. I probably would have went with a little less weight on this build. I definitely would have went with a little less dunk, and I would have put some more ball handle, some more agility on that. I probably would have put a little more strength on that too. Um, I don't know why it has 45 rebounding. Maybe you have to have that for some reason, but I definitely wouldn't have put any rebounding on this build if it's avoidable. I, I mean, I might have put that still up a little bit with that, but I definitely... I definitely would have took that. I would have took that dunk right down to the lowest threshold that I need in order to get contacts. And maybe not, maybe not, maybe just in order to get some good dunk packages, just to get some good dunk packages. And um, I really would have put a lot of that into, for the sake of saying it, I would have put a lot of that back into my ball handling pass accuracy. Maybe. Maybe if I'm looking to be on ball, but for me personally, the way I play, I would have been looking to make a sharp lock anyway. So my guard would have been actually a forward. I think I would have went small forward this, this, this build. But for the sake of the video, for, for saying he's making this shooting guard, for the sake of the video, six, four shooting guard, I would have went a little less weight. That's the first thing I would have did. Next, I would have took some of that dunk off of there. And went just straight for the threshold for some good dunk packages because I'm not trying to rain on everybody's head. That three ball in that mid range is on point. The ball handling it looks like enough for me to move and groove to do what I need to do. I may have went post, but I'm not sure with that. That might be build two. Build two might have post. I definitely would have put that agility up some. That agility goes up as far as we can get it. That agility and that uh, that agility and that speed. Definitely would have went up a little bit more. And then that speed with ball would have went up a little bit more. Maybe. It's not really, it's not really uh important. Matter of fact, I'm tripping anyway, because I did say sharp lock. So the driving dunk comes down to to a reasonable level where I can get a package, a dunk package. Definitely. And then we go for we go for some defense. We're gonna put defense up. We're going defense up, sharp lock. That's just where I'm at with mine. We're going speed. We're going agility. We're going defense up. That's really where I'm going with that. We're going to get enough passing to be able to throw the ball around. But that speed with ball and that ball handle probably would have came down. But that's just because I'm thinking of playing, you know, 
threes, playing threes, not being the ball, the ball handler. When you're thinking about just making a bill to go have fun with, this looks like a look like a healthy bill to go hit the hit the uh, mic court with, maybe go hit the casual park with, because I mean it can do just about everything. It got a little defense on it, got a little ball handle. It's a little bit quick, a little bit quick enough. You know what I mean? And then it's a hell of a score. You're gonna get a bucket. So I'm not mad at this build. I'm really not mad at it. I mean, I'm if I had to give it, if I had to give it a grade just off being a community day build. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a, actually, I'm going to give this a, a B. I'm going to give this a B minus just for being able to score recklessly. This, this, this guy is going to score with this build recklessly. He's going to be able to go yam and get on somebody's face. Pause. But, um, that's about all it's really going to be able to do successfully. I mean, but against the computer, if you're taking this into my career, oh yeah, you're a bucket. You're a bucket. Those bots in my career, you go up in my career, maybe even on Hall of Fame. You're a bucket. You're a surefire bucket. If you even if you got to catch and shoot, you're a bucket. If you can figure out how to wiggle your way open with some some of the sigs you get with an 86 bar handle and an 80 speed with ball. Hey, so be it. But I mean, that's another story for another day. Let's see what uh he said. Chico Filo. Wavy. And. He said Chico Filo, Wavy, and somebody else. Our top three, we got Spider One, okay, Chico Spider Two, and Chico, Wavy Three for now. And Wavy. All right, in here, we let's got go see what they're talking about. All right, here we go. We got Spider. We got Wavy right here. He said Wavy was three. All right, here. Now this is another PG build. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to bro. I never heard of bro, but Wavy JC. All the links to the build. All the links are in the description to this build. This this build video is gonna be. The link is going to be in the description and then all the builds are in the description to this video. But a point guard, 6'2", 70, 170 and a 6'6 wingspan. That look kind of that look kind of uh, kind of immaculate. I'm not going to hold you. This man has a 94 three pointer. I would have went up on that mid range. But why does he have a 99? Why does he have a 99 free throw? He has an 88 driving dunk. That's pretty high. The agility is 82. That's kind of low. Speed is 89. It's a throwaway build. He does have some interior defense for some reason. Perimeter. He has interior defense on a 6-2 for some reason. You looking to play ones with this? This is a ones build? A 6-2 ones build or something? Bills will be in the description. So shout out to all the creators that we can get the content from. But 88 driving up. 94 three ball. 94... Ball handle, 94 speed with ball, so you get Hall of Fame lightning launch. 85 pass. He got a little bit of defense with the 59 printed defense. He didn't say nothing about that 99 free throw. Defense, 54, 58 interior, 73. Why do you need 88 driving dunk on a 6-2 point guard? Steal 63 block. 89 speed because he has 94 speed with ball and then 82 agility. I'm going to say it. This is easily one of the best builds that came from Community Day. Uh, what? What did this man just say? The best builds that came from Community Day. Do I agree with a lot of it? No. But, bro, look at the You should see the way look I'm looking. Shooting. Look at the playmaking on it. There's no build that has that combination in steel. All right, I've heard enough. I probably have heard enough, but for the sake of what I said, he said Chico Filo was number two. He said Chico was number two. Let's Top see what Chico feet. Filo. All right, here. We got another Chico Filo build. Now, he's got. Wait, this is another Chico Filo build? Chico Fico, Chico Fico, Chico Filo has a build before this one? I don't know. He said it's another Chico Filo build, though. Oh, Chico was actually, he was the uh, build that had the steal earlier that we saw. Now, 87 driving up with that vertical. He's going to get caught. what? 89 three ball with the 91 mid range. That's going to help you get certain jump shots and you're going to get certain badges off that mid range. I'm telling y'all, mid range is going to be important again this year to get certain. Yeah, it was important. It was important in 24. Animations. Because I don't know if y'all noticed when I went over the animation requirements, you need mid range three ball for every animation now. So, like your dribble okay. pull up, you need a certain rating. Your, your hop jumper, you need a certain range. Spin jumper, you need a certain range. So I don't think them, them lower rating three ball builds is going to be very popular this year, bro. Because I'm going to be honest, bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm not going lower rating three ball 
and miss out on all my animations I need. I, I mean, I feel you. You kind of yapping, but I'm finna yap too, so I get it. But he has a 92 ball handle, 91 speed with ball combo. He's getting, he's getting Trey Young escape. He's going to have some pretty good dribble packages on this build. I wouldn't have went with all that driving dunk, all that finishing. I really wouldn't have. I would have maxed out my three-pointer. I just would have. I'm not sure if you would have. But um, it looks like he's making this build, I mean, to be able to use some of his cap breakers in order to get uh, maxed out. Because as you know, your cap breakers will bring you all the way to to what your what your uh capability is. So if you can go to 90, if you can go to 95 still, but you only put 90 still, you can put five cap breakers on that still to get to 95. So your build is only allotted 90 still, but you can you can get 95 out of it if you made your build that way. So it's just because you didn't put that 95 on it in the builder and you only put 90, you could use the cap breakers to break the cap and get to 95 because your build is allotted 95 by size. So, I mean, it looked like that's what he used the, the strategy for to be able to use his cap breakers to max out on his three pointer, max out on his mid range, maybe max out on his ball handling type situation. It has low agility, 76 agility and 65 strength. He's going to be pushing people around the court, but he's not going to be too shifty and agile. So to have all that ball handling, and all that speed with ball and then have low agility like that is kind of goofy. But I, I guess, I mean, it's community day. So we got to take this with a, we got to take these with a grain of salt. Let's see what he said. Spider was number one. All right, let's see what, let's see what he's talking about with Spider. We got Spider. Now Spider actually had some of the better builds of the community day last year. And he didn't disappoint this year. So he got a six foot three, six six. This is gonna be the first six foot three that we go over. Like I said, when it okay. comes to the guards, we're gonna go up in height, pretty much. A lot of these builds, we just gonna go up in height. It's not gonna be ranked in order. It's just gonna be going up in height. All right. So for the finishing, you gotta remember it is a six three. He has a ninety three driving dunk. Who the fuck is Tingus Pingus? All right. So I mean, we got the gist of it. We got the gist of it. Y'all go ahead, like the video, subscribe. You go hit up uh. Your boy Fitz, if you want to see more of this, more of this video from him. But um, I mean, that's really all I gotta say. I'm can't wait to get in that builder though. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.